We're back, Tan Fan, with actor Josh Peck, who, like all of my guests today, is revealing there's more to his story than what we've read in the headlines in his honest new memoir, Happy People Are Annoying. He reveals for the very first time details about his often painful experience as a child actor. Um, Josh, you know, again, this happy put people are annoying. You are far from that. You are infectious. And um, that's why fans love you. And I think one of the most shocking revelations in your book is that you and um, your former co-star Drake and Josh, co-star Drake Bell, are no longer friends. Um, you lost touch after the show ended. Um, and here's what you had to say in the memoir. The world wanted to believe that we still shared a bedroom, even if we weren't filming the TV show. But once I was over, so was our connection. It was like camp. Eventually, everyone has to go home. And, and so, as you know, fans project, which is basically what you were saying there. And some of them were upset when Drake did not get an invitation to your wedding in 2017. But you recently revealed in an interview on BFF's podcast that there was more to that story, more to that headline. Yeah, I think, you know, people inherently marry themselves to the first sort of image of you that they fall in love with. And in many ways, that's a great honor. I mean, people invited Drake and Josh into their home, which more than a movie, it's it's such a great honor to sort of be able to to perform for families when they're sitting around in their living room. So I don't, I don't think it's any wonder why people sort of marry themselves to so not only the image they had of me being sort of like this big chubby funny guy, but also mm -hmm. my relationship with Drake. And and in many ways, it it um it might be the thing that that we're most known for forever. So understandably, I can I can see why people have an emotional attachment to right. us. And I think all these years later, I've sort of, um, I've happily made my peace with all that. You've accepted that. And, and I mean, I'm sure it's even more complicated. As we know, Drake Bell made headlines recently um, when he was sentenced to two years of probation after pleading guilty to attempted child endangerment. Those charges stem from inappropriate communications he had with a 15-year-old girl who he met online and attended a concert in 2017. You write about some of this in the book, um, you say, people ran to get my opinion. They thought I must have a take on this person I'd spent so much time with, when in reality, it'd been years since we'd, since we'd talked and even longer since we'd seen each other, which is why alongside everyone else who doesn't know Drake, I was upset by the inexplicable events that unfolded in his life. What was it like writing that portion of the book for you? I think it was, it was important that I basically just, you know, especially in a book that will live on forever, that I was clear about my feelings during that time. And not to quote myself again, but as I said in the book, it, it was upsetting. You have a three-year-old son, Max, who appears on your social media. Adorable, Max. Uh, my team showed me this picture. Look at that face. And you reveal. I like him. <laughs> you should. You say in the memoir that you never met your own father uh, you didn't even see a picture of him until you were 24 years old. How did that um, experience influence your approach to fatherhood? Wow. I mean, in so many ways, me having a son felt like this weird sort of cosmic comeuppance. I remember my wife and I didn't find out the gender of of the baby until he he was born. And and I just assumed that I had done so much musical theater throughout my life that it, it was basically a lock. I was going to have a girl. And uh, <laughs> and then when my son Max was born, I thought, oh, of course, thank you, universe, because this seemed like a unique opportunity in which for me to be the father to him that I always wish my dad was for me. And, you know, I say in the book, you don't always get the amends that you deserve, but sometimes you give it to yourself by not passing that trauma on to the next generation. Yeah. Well, the memoir is absolutely beautiful. At 35, you wrote it at the perfect time. And you'll have another one many, many years down the road. But right now, this one counts. Thank you so much, Josh. Congratulations on all the continued success that you've been having. The new memoir from Josh Beck, Happy People Are Annoying, is available now where books are sold.